this new time, working developing news on a third terrifying tragedy hitting the Orlando area this week. A little boy missing after an alligator dragged him into a lagoon at Walt Disney World. At this hour, crews are continuing to search that lagoon. Let's get more now from Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner, live with the Mobile Newsroom. Yeah, Patrick, good afternoon. That's right. Just more terrible news out of the Orlando area. And Disney says this noontime it is closing its resort beaches out of an abundance of caution. Officials are euthanizing alligators from Disney's Seven Seas Lagoon as they try to find the two-year-old boy pulled into the water by an alligator overnight. Witnesses said the toddler was a foot or two into the water near the Grand Floridian Resort Tuesday as his family was on the beach. The area is posted. No swimming. This is an extremely rare occurrence. We, we have to be careful. We always caution people in Florida to be careful around water bodies. But people, millions of people, enjoy Florida safely. And Florida is still very safe. But you have to be aware and be careful. Despite the passage of time, officials still call the effort a search and rescue operation at a morning news conference. More than 50 searchers work through the night with special equipment. Additional crews are coming in today. Officials say they want to bring comfort to the family. I have children. These investigators have children. The searchers have children. The Disney personnel have children. Um, imagine if it were you, how, how would you feel? And you don't feel any different. We don't feel any differently than anybody else would feel. It is tragic. It is heartbreaking. And the reason for that beach closure is that the Seven Seas Lagoon feeds into a series of canals that wind their way throughout the entire Disney property. For now, live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.